how to create uh, employee information or how to record uh, employee information you record to just click uh, in the flowchart you can just click employee button just press there then we have a uh, new employee there or layers you can just go to the employee center once you go to the uh, employee center just click uh, employee center there and now you get the information about employee to add a new employee click new employee once you click new employee you have the personal information then you can have now the personal information who is mr then you put the first name of that mr is george and you put george uh, for example o cheng uh, is about uh, o cheng or uh, omolo we have the o for omolo this one midro initials just put one letter and you have the last name is a cheng just put a cheng uh, a cheng in this case once you put that information and just click there you see the name is still adding as print as check as this then you have the national id number in this case which is recognized national id number just put a b then you put any six letters like those on those are uh, six letters then you can put either space or you can put a b c or d one of them i can just put b just then click there that is how the national id number should they should be indicating in this case now you can put uh, this one is a male or female just choose male then the date of birth you can either click here and scroll the date or else you can just type manually to save time just press that one then you put the date that person was born you can just put the, uh, the information like that then after that you can put the marital status single married or divorced in this case is married uh, then after putting the information about being married and now you can put the address and contact click address and contact you can put the address there for example that's the address and now you once you put that address then you can put uh, where is the address about or about you can put uh, a hero and uh, now you can put uh, the city which is K you can put Kisumu is a other city and you have the county with the county should be Kisumu and you have the postal code you can just put the postal code uh, even if it's the code for Kenya which is plus 254 and now you put the mobile number for that employee 07 Now once you put the information you have the email it's very crucial because in case you want to write some letters to the employee just you require to write through email and you can email that person so you can write the name of that person uh, who is George mm. uh, example that is the email there uh, at example such am kenya dot com such am kenya dot com and you have the pin pager in this case you can put uh, the employee pin which is uh, a a zero then you put like that uh, like that is a, like an example of a of a pin pager for the vat uh, reductions then we have the additional information in addition for information you can put the employee which is now the employee number where you can put like that stroke it is the number uh, stroke uh, 27 17 or 20 2017 there the employee number in this case we require to add define new field just click define new field once you click define new field, you can see some uh, information there at the define new field. Just come you put, for example, next of kin. Next of kin. Uh, we have a tick at the employee. Then we have 
another one is a uh, you have the number then you have the the department or occupation you can just department or occupation and we have the last three salary these two main one is for the information about the about the, the employee and the first two next of kin and number is the person who can uh, who is the next of kin to you who is more closely related with you just put four ticks there and now you click OK. That's how you define your field. Now you can see how those fields there. Whereby now you can come report maybe uh, the information about uh, Jessica Acheng. Jessica Acheng into bracket wife. Uh, Jessica Acheng is wife for that person. Uh, then you put the, uh, her number. U seven and now you have the occupation of this uh, yes uh, a tutor a tutor in our college and now we have the salary which is now thirty five thousand and now as we put that information for that you can click next to add another employee or you click ok when you are through but when you see that one you see this kind of error the the joint date cannot be blank so it means you put the joint date you require to say ok and now you say ok go to this information personal information and choose now to be employment information and that is why you go and choose Join date of this uh, employee. Uh, you can just adjust uh, the date uh, she, uh, he joined, which is now the the first February. The first February. Uh, leaving date. It's not no need to put it because maybe it was not a contract. You can just work as many years as possible unless it's a contract. That's why you put the leaving date. You just click OK. That's how you put a new employee record. Thank you.